care of the dog. Can more alcohol cure a hangover? We've created a facility to test the world's greatest hangover cures, and we're testing them all. I'm Dr. Keller Wortham, doctor of internal medicine. I'm Frank Kranz. I'm not a doctor, but I've been hungover a lot. Welcome to the GQ Hangover Lab. Oh, all right. What do you do, Brandon? I'm a fashion stylist. Work with a lot of athletes, NBA guys. Cool. Mm -hmm. Shall we check this out? Uh, we might as well. <laughs> <laughs> what are we drinking? That right there was a double shot of whiskey, chilled. Uh, okay, wait a minute. We okay. just went from one to six. Yeah. Was, how do you feel? Like someone kicked me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I had a cold sweat situation too. Our liver's job is to make sugar for our bodies when we're not consuming it otherwise. And if it doesn't, your blood sugar can be really low and you get the sweats, and you get the shakes. And the headache sounds like the worst thing. That's the worst thing. There's one particular chemical uh, that actually causes this kind of vasodilation in the brain, and that basically is like triggering a migraine. Wow. Now, we ran some tests. We know how you feel. We ran the motor skills test, which I know were very frustrating. Now comes the good part. We're going to uh, give you the cure. Uh, Brandon Williams, He's, I, I like him. He's cool. Despite his kind of charm, he's got the headache. And, and he had the shakes this morning. But now we're gonna give him the cure? Hair of the dog. Uh, we're, we're gonna give him more booze and the ultimate hair of the dog drink, we're going to give him the Bloody Mary. You know, it's got uh, salt, it's got fluid to rehydrate you. There are a lot of antioxidants in that tomato juice and the lime juice. Uh, vodka is a relatively clean alcohol with not a lot of other toxins in it. You're uh -huh. basically gonna, you know, you're not gonna get rid of the problem. You're just gonna cover it up with something that is gonna numb you from really perceiving the problem. So I hypothesize as well that, you know, Brandon's gonna feel better. Brandon, have a seat. All right. You are a lucky man. <laughs> if there was a picture in the Urban Dictionary next to Hair of the Dog, it should be the Bloody Mary. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually my first Bloody Mary. What? What? Yeah. Wow. wow. It's not bad either. It just tastes like alcoholic pizza sauce. <laughs> <laughs> One of my Perfect. Make sure you're doing it right. Nice. Get bruised. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I think we've reached the limit for the parameters of hair of the dog. Let's yeah. get to it. Let's see if it works. The salt in the Bloody Mary's definitely pumped your blood pressure. You're, you're in the 150s now. And the blood sugar is 106. Oh, it's... So you were at 82 before you came up to 106. 82 is like towards the low end yeah. of normal. <clears throat> that I'm sure will also make you feel better. 0.04. All right. Come on. One bounce, one jack. Second bounce, going for two jacks, three jacks, four jacks, and yes. so on. If you mess up, you go back to one. You've got one minute. Let's go. Oh, oh. Uh. Let's, let's leave the jacks. And okay. our pride, and, and we'll go sit down and put it all together. I noticed in general, you were pretty laid back about it all. I feel a lot better, I feel a lot better. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to go to bed or nurse a hangover anymore, so maybe it worked. One of the things in alcohol uh, is methanol. It breaks down into formaldehyde in the body. But your body prefers ethanol to methanol. So it's gonna break down the ethanol first, and then when you're done with that, it's gonna break down the methanol, and you're gonna get the nasty byproducts of methanol. If you put more ethanol in your body, it's gonna go back to metabolizing that and put the brakes on the methanol and all the toxic stuff it's doing to you. Yep. You've been, you've been a great help, a great yeah. support. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, man. Thanks, yeah. Brandon. Thank you, doctor. I bet you think I'm just gonna be like, hey, get wasted, man. No, I, I understand, like you said, it's a, it's a masking cure. I'm only gonna give it a B. Does that surprise you? I'm such a stick in the mud right now, but the main problem is it's just a really unhealthy habit and it can get you into deeper problems. I would like to point out that he will continue to get more buzz because you can't check your blood alcohol level right after and be like, okay, I'm cool, I'm gonna drive, because it will continue to climb. So I'm gonna have to say, um, C. I'm Dr. Keller Wortham. I'm Frank Krantz. Thanks for visiting the GQ Hangover Lab. For more tips and hangover cures, subscribe to the channel. And like us, because we make damn good Bloody Marys.